Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nogushe Kumalo and today's video is Let's Go Buy a Mercedes. So over the last few weeks, I've been showing you top 10 affordable cars and top 10 mid-luxury cars. And a lot of you have been shocked by the total cost or the estimated monthly installments, basically saying there's no way you guys are ever going to afford it. And I honestly understand the shock that you guys are facing. However, today's video is actually meant to make these numbers a bit more realistic because the truth is not everyone is buying a car the way I mentioned. So so we're going to be exploring the different options or the different places where you can buy a car and some of the pros and cons attached to each of these establishments. Before we go any further, as you guys already know, we did vote in the last video where we were like, are we doing a Golf, a Mercedes or a Kia Rio? The winner of this was the Kia Rio. So congratulations to everyone who did vote for that. Unfortunately though, a lot of you did highlight that the Kia Rio is actually about to be discontinued and I did a little Google search and you guys are correct. So I decided not not to do the Kia Rio because if it's going to be discontinued it means going forward from 2024 onwards you guys will only be finding these cars in the second hand market so it wasn't really going to be a great example to do so I decided to go with the number two which was the Mercedes A200 so stick around I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed researching let's get into it before we head into the research let's remind ourselves what a Mercedes A200 actually looks like So the way I'm going to do today's video is a bit different from my usual video. So what we're going to do is actually go online and we're all going to search together. I'm actually going to show you guys all the sites I'm searching and you guys are going to do it with me. We're going to do it in real time and I'll be providing commentary in real time. This is something that you should also simulate when you are buying your car. And guys, remember when you're buying a car, it's a long process. You take a lot of days to think about it, actually even a month or more. So this one will obviously be very condensed, very short. This is just to help you so that when it's your turn to buy a car, you know exactly Exactly the type of things you should be thinking of the considerations the comments you know and please do feel free to leave comments as you guys are watching as well because remember I don't know everything and that's why we're a community if there's something I've missed that you think is really important drop it in the comments because someone is about to buy their car and they're reading your comments and you're really going to help them save a couple of thousands so make sure you're leaving those comments as we go through the video my name is Nogushe Kumalo and I'm a personal finance creator some of the videos I've made include how to buy shares, top 10 affordable cars, how to file your taxes, side hustles, interviews, you name it, I've done it. Note, these videos do not constitute financial advice. My aim is to plant the idea, it's up to you to water it. And if you enjoy my content, please tip me with a like, comment and subscription. So the way we're going to do this video is we're going to jump straight into the different dealerships that offer a Mercedes A200. And then after that, I'll give you guys a summary table that you can take a screenshot of so that you can look at later on, where it basically shows what we looked at, the considerations, pros and cons, and all of that. Um, so make sure you watch the whole video. And if you haven't already subscribed, that's okay. I hope this video will convince you otherwise. Let's get into it. All right, so Mercedes... That's not her A two hundred, and we want it from Mercedes, man. We want the official, official site. Okay, seven five five. Ooh, this is not what we saw initially. I think they've changed the prices a little. But anyways, let's browse. Okay. Ah, there's the one. Yeah, the seven nine four. So I've ordered it price low to high this is assuming we're buying a brand new car from mercedes 
in white i think white is always the cheapest color in all cars but i highly like white cars like i like, I like white cars and white um cell phones because you can see the detailing more and you can see the purchase price the 794 that i had last time but the monthly installment here seems a lot more different from what i quoted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for the west bank finance calculator to show you guys how i was actually calculating these installments so 794 420 794 420 um and i said no deposit and i said payment over 72 months which is six years no balloon payment and then i said interest rate is 13.75 uh, which is prime plus two and this is how i got to my 16,000 monthly repayment okay which you will see is higher than what they're offering on the mercedes site so suddenly on the mercedes site it's like oh my word it's way more affordable no gushe, why are you giving us expensive things? So when we look at how they actually configured this, um, so the total amount is this, and it's over 48 months, which is shorter than ours, great. But then there's a down payment of 79,000. Down payment is a deposit, guys. Uh, so it's a 10% deposit. Do you have 79,000 rand? Fine. And then there's a guaranteed future value slash balloon payment of 501,022 rand. So basically at the end of those 48 months, you have to pay in cash at once half a million or you can trade in your car and that's how much mercedes is guaranteeing to give you in exchange which is why you're able to get this eleven thousand. so i don't think it's really that realistic because if you can't afford 794k now up front where well, you're going to find half a million but anyways and then there's also an annual mileage so they kind of limit you to twenty thousand kilometers uh, per year cool but let's look at other ways where you can finance this car within um, Mercedes because they do offer other ways. So here they actually explain the different ways where you can buy a Mercedes from them, from their financial services. So there's agility, you kind of choose whatever you want. Then there's an installment sale, which is like the traditional way. And then there's 50-50. This is for like people who are um, gig earners or so people who might make a lot of money up front and then a lot of more money like later on. People who aren't earning salaries, they sometimes do this 50 50 finance and then the operating list but i'm going to use the general one which is an installment um calculator and we're going to use this car they've suddenly changed the car i can't find this car online but suddenly i can find it but it's okay um using agility 48 months with an annual manager of twenty thousand. they expect a down payment which is a deposit of seventy five thousand. Hmm. and then there's a balloon payment of half a million then your monthly installment can be 9,500. So this is a lot more easier to digest. It's like, oh, it's only 9.5. I can probably afford that. Uh, let's play around. Let's say 72 months, okay? So we're comparing like with like with the with the West Bank calculator. And again, we have no deposit. I'm assuming you don't really have much money with you. So each time you change something, it actually recalculates. Let's see. Your installment is now jumping to 15,000, um, and there's also no balloon payment, which is great. Suddenly, the 15,000 that we see here compares slightly with this, but remember, they've changed the model we're looking at. So, let me just update this price. So, we're comparing like with like. Fifteen five five two fifteen zero five eight. Okay, maybe slightly cheaper here. And if you do installment agreement, which is the normal one, let's have a look. Ha ha ha! Why is it so much more expensive? Okay, seventeen thousand seventy two months. No balloon, no deposit, and the rate is actually even lower than what we've used here, which is thirteen point seven five. So I wonder why. Anyways, that's how you buy a car from Mercedes. Now I'm going to buy a car from Mercedes pre-owned. So the next best thing if you can't buy a brand new car is to try and find a demo car, which is usually like a certified pre-owned by that dealership. Usually you can find these when you walk into your nearest dealership, but I'm going to try to find it online as well. Cool. So you can search for used cars. I'm going to say price ascending. Hmm, okay, not too bad, not too bad. The prices are looking, you know, okay. And I'm going to filter, I'm going to try and say only the A-class. 
All right, so we've got the A class and you can kind of flip through the pictures here. This car, let's have a look at it in detail. 359,900. Let's see. 359,900. Oh, only 7,400. Okay, okay. We, we're rocking. 7K. Oh, it's a 2017 model. It's got 62,000 kilometers on the clock. Okay. Let's have a look at the pictures. Basic. Uh, not much customizations. They don't have that little silver thing that's usually here. Okay, no sunroof either. Hmm, okay, would have been nice. And then when you look at the dashboard, it is a bit outdated, okay? If you remember, the other one has like a long screen and these things are colorful. They're like blue, but you can change them to pink and purple and everything you like. So this is a, quite an outdated model, but again, they did say 2017. And also another thing is if you can, it's always best to get pre-approval from your bank. This allows you to know the kind of range that the bank is willing to give you. Uh, for example, if they say the bank says we're willing to give you 350,000 Rand, that sounds good but what you need to remember is that if you are buying an older version the bank might actually only give you a percentage of it if it's within the last three years it's fine but if it's like four years uh, plus then we're only going to finance you 90 percent if it's five years plus only 80 percent six years plus 70 percent so it keeps going down because basically the bank does not want to give you so much money for an asset that is old um, so they also want you to kind of bring in your own deposit just to show that you yourself are willing to risk your own money and the bank isn't the one only taking the risk with this old car. So keep that in mind. The older your car is, the less the bank is willing to risk financing 100%. Um, and also the bank will not finance a car that is over 10 years old. So basically 2014 is our threshold. We cannot go older than that. All right, cool. Um, and if we look, okay, they give us the VIN number. Guys, so with the VIN number, you can actually use this to call up a branch and ask them, when last was this car serviced? Obviously, because this car is coming from Mercedes, you don't even have to, like, do too much searching. You can ask them. But, like, if you are buying from an external person that you're not really sure of, you can take the VIN number and call Mercedes and be like, hey, do you recognize this vehicle? Has it been serviced? So on and so forth. Um... They're not giving us a lot of information. Like, I don't know if it's been fully serviced. Yeah, anyways. And it's located in Pretoria. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't too great. Um, and then just for interest purposes, I'm going to take this A200D. It's a diesel car. Their diesel 2020 model. Yay. 88,000 kilometers. Okay, not too bad. Equipment, nothing much. Okay, and then this is just like general information, okay. Or maybe the general information does tell us that everything has been um, fully serviced, let's see. All are certified, what, 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 undergo extensive, what, 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 checks, what, 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 okay, okay, okay. Which is why they're expensive, okay. So they're still expensive, but suddenly you can sort of afford about 7K, 8K, okay. Next up, let's go to Auto Trader. And I want an A class. There we go. Cool. And then I'm also going to put in more filters here. So I don't want any car from 2014 because the bank won't finance it. And guys, when you're on Auto Trader, you'll see some of these first few listings are actually featured. Um, so people have actually paid to have their post like feature at the very top. So you kind of see them and usually these are the cars you buy. But you'll see these aren't following my low to high uh, filter. Because look, it goes to four, from 400,000 to 1.4 to 1.2. So that is not within what we were looking for. Aye. Okay, the cheapest car we find here is a 2050 Mercedes. And they kind of rate it now. They've got like low price, great price, fair price. Don't like take auto traders word for it because, you know, I don't know how this rating happens. But anyways, let's look at this cheap one. 2015, so that's pretty recent. That's when I was actually doing my matric year. It's blue, not too keen on the color, to be quite honest. But maybe you are. It's an AMG kit, yay. That's specialized. And it's also got a sunroof, yay interior hmm, slightly updated okay we see the red color slightly updated but it's still not the new one where there's like a massive screen here okay 
Um, and then when you look at the details, the 2015 car, 165,000. That's a that's a, a lot, slightly more. So guys, on average, when you're looking at how old a car is, a car on average travels 15,000 kilometers a year. So if we're saying 165,000 divided by 15,000, this car is technically 11 years old in my head. Um, and if you look at it, it was brought in in 2015. So whoever used to drive this car was actually driving quite a lot. Uh, because according to my stats, this car should have been a 2013 car, but it's 2015. But anyways... Comments available for finance. Finance price is ten thousand more. Okay, so the price we're seeing here, which is two hundred ninety nine thousand, you're gonna have to add ten k if you're gonna finance it. Hate it when they do that. Uh, the vehicle goes in for a, a decor test. Fine. Vehicle is due for a service. So when you buy this car, you're gonna have to like service it immediately. The vehicle includes a six month unlimited kilometer mechanical warranty. Only six months? Okay, makes sense. The car is quite old now. Um, okay, let's see. Road report. Okay. Previous owners unknown. Hmm. So, guys, when you buy a car, it's nice to know how many people have had it before. So, if it's like only one, then you know, okay, only one person has used this car. But if it's two, it's like, okay, this person also bought this car as a second hand. So now I'm like a third hand. And when it says unknown, it kind of makes it sketchy because it's like how many people have actually driven this car. Worst service history, partial. So we're not even sure if this car has gone in for all of its services. Kind of not too keen anymore. Warranty months, zero. So why did they say they have a six month unlimited kilometer uh, mechanical warranty or is it just for the like them like whoever's selling this car because it's being sold by Southgate wheels so maybe they have their own um, guarantee or warranty but not necessarily a Mercedes warranty hmm not too keen on that either and then yeah then you can you know read all the other stuff and then there's another finance calculator on auto trader so you don't have to keep jumping to the West Bank one so let's just check how much this car is going to cost us zero deposit uh zero trade in value like i'm assuming we're not selling a car to buy this car no balloon payment they've kind of used my interest rate as well so you're looking at six thousand one hundred thirty five rand per month not too bad not too bad but i'm not too keen about this car because of all these unknown items if you're still tuned in comment let's go just so i can see that you guys are still with me cars.co.za i'm looking for an a200 mercedes benz mercedes a class follow the same process and guys you'll find that sometimes people will list on auto trader and on cars.co.za that's okay like there's no rule that you can't list across platforms um and guys when you are buying on these things please remember you're not buying from cars you're not buying from auto trader you're buying from whatever dealer has posted this you see this is from squad cars this is from i don't know who these people are prisma what what this is from pinnacle so those are the people who are actually selling the car. Auto Trader is just a platform that allows them to actually put it on. So it like consolidates everything. Same way Uber doesn't own any restaurants, but restaurants can list their food. Yeah, this is an Uber Eats app, but for cars. Okay. Uh, not really the A-class I was looking for. But let's keep going. Maybe we'll find something. 107,000 and it's a manual. 196 automatic. Western Cape. Gauteng. Now we're talking. 2020. Limpopo. Let's have a look. Ha! Now we're in the nice interior. Okay, clearly, clearly the 2020 was key. Ah. Uh, I couldn't they clean this? Also, you see, this is We Buy Cars. And we're still going to go to We Buy Cars. But just to show you guys that, again, it is a listing platform. So We Buy Cars is clearly also using cars. Spoiler. What a, what a, what a. Okay, cool. Not too interested in that. Let's see more. Certified as roadworthy by the dealer. 
who is the dealer why do i care so much about them uh, these are new vehicle specs and are not necessarily the specs of the advertised vehicles. So then why give it to us? Confusing me a bit. They're not really giving us much condition as expected. Ah, guys, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, I'm going to try to find another one. Hopefully they give us more information. I'm going to try to find a slightly more expensive one because maybe if they're like super affordable um they they limit the information 2020 amg oof, oof. oh but this is long ah this is not a hatchback most okay nice interior this is not a hatchback though yeah, but i'm gonna look because it looks good but you see this is car shopping suddenly you're looking at things you're not even in the market for because they look good okay fifty five thousand. that's quite low Condition excellent, all right, great. But who writes this condition, anyways? Uh, seven day money back guarantee. Uh, seven days is very short, but I, I guess it's great. Mm -hmm. That's all okay. But here are the people who are selling it. But I feel like cars is a bit limited. Like, they're not really giving much. They don't tell us anything about if the car's been serviced, previous owners. Hmm. Okay. I'm done with cars. Let's move across to we buy cars. And I want to buy a car. And I'm looking for an A-class. And I want to sort price low to high. Hey, 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 this is not what I had in mind. 25k for this car. Does it run? 830 per month. Hmm. As long as it gives me A to B, you know, that's all I need. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't lose focus. Let's just jump to page four because we might see a lot of these old ones. Yeah, we're still on the old ones. Okay, we just saw this car on cars. Let's move across. Hectic. Why is this one so? Why is a van here? I thought we said A class. Okay. Best Buy. This vehicle offers unbeatable value with exceptionally low prices that are highly competitive within the market. Okay. First installment free. Hey, we buy cars as all these little thingies. Decra Platinum, Decra Green. Decra had a bit of an issue about some of the reports they were giving, so you know, just remember that. But think yeah just remember that these vehicles may require specific repairs to pass the roadworthy test awkward so basically you could be buying a car that's not roadworthy let's do this one i'm interested uh it's found in the western cape okay thirty-three thousand kilometers nice 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 Again, it's long. I asked for a hatchback, guys. Okay, let's just let's just roll with it. I know this is not the car we're looking for, but let's let's just look. Fine, category A. I don't know what category A means. Apart, what I wanna in choosing by distinguishing between newer, lower kilometer, and better maintained vehicles, category A, or older, well used, category B. Okay, color undefined. What do you mean? Is it not white? Okay, first license 2021. Service history complete and up to date. Nice. Warranty active and it expires 2025, December. Nice. And guys, similar to how you can verify the service history, you can also verify the warranty and when it expires by calling Mercedes or whatever the dealership you're working with and asking them about the specific VIN. If you don't know the VIN, you can also ask them about the number plate. But remember guys, the number plate can be changed. So the VIN is always the best because the VIN for one car will never ever change, no matter who owns it. Uh, okay, they think it's a hatchback. That is not a hatchback. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, nice things, nice things, nice things. What's this full report? Let's have a look. Hi, 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 hi. Cape Town, Richmond. There's the VIN. 
Okay, interior components, condition, inspection result. Very good, 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 very good, very good. Poor tires. Okay, tires are easy to fix, not too bad. Used car report, engine. Oh, Decra. Okay, you guys do quite a detailed report. Na, 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 na. No noises were detected. A typical noise. Na, 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 na. pictures coolant oil filler okay so this stuff really means nothing to people like you and me i don't know what this is um mercedes diagnostic reports okay okay yeah this is why you need to take uh, a professional when you go get these things when you look at these things because when you get to we buy cars there's like a big flow of all these cars and you will get confused and some of them might look good but they might not run that great okay let's move on to the next one i want to look at wheelie i'm not going to spend too much time on wheelie i want a mercedes 2014 I said i want a 2020 car or, or, or something better oh they don't have much they don't have a lot. Let's have a look at this one then. Looks pretty on the outside. 145 leather seats. Okay, they gave us a disc. Again, you can see that this is like at a, a big garage and they have other cars available. Not too keen on the dashboard. It's an older dashboard again. Okay, they're showing us the engine i don't really know what the engine's meant to look like but i mean i can't do a google search but also when we looked at uh the reminder of the car we won the 2024 version it did kind of seem like this but i know there was a mercedes sign here so i can clearly see that it's like fallen off but i'm sure that's not too big of a deal service booklet okay they did a manual service booklet are we okay We've got another calculator here but let's look at the details it's kempton so it's in johannesburg color unknown i don't know why it's so hard for them to say silver gray this car is silver gray uh year 2014 hey yeah we're probably only gonna get like 50 percent funding for this from the bank because it's so old a class automatic vin number there it is but like where's the rest of the information can't be all of it Kanjani hmm. <laughs> okay I'm done then let's look at Avis car sales so Avis usually rents out cars um, and then when they no longer want to have those cars on the floor they will sell them so the cars are usually uh, fairly new-ish um, and also one might say they are taken care of quite well but remember when people are driving these rental cars because you and I the people who rent these cars you know how you treat rental cars because it's not yours you press that accelerator you drift you you do the most because it's not yours you're only here for a good time and a long time so just keep that in mind um, but yeah let's search Mercedes they only have 13 on the floor so clearly not a lot c class c class c class that's not what we want c class uh benz vito gle hypo okay so they don't have our they don't have our car because i'm assuming people don't read those out but just for you know research purposes in case you do want to see class here you can see the price and it's 2022 and the mileage is only 33,000, 45,000, 40,000. So the mileage is usually quite low, which is great because the car is considered fairly new. So it looks like they only keep the cars for like a year, maybe two years. Let's move on to Faro and all those places where people are suddenly buying their cars from these days. Okay, how do I find Faro? There we go. So fair is actually only in Santon. I wonder if there's a search feature. Uh, you guys might have seen these people on your on your Instagram because they usually come up there. They even sell a Nissan Juke. Interesting. 
Audi. Okay, interesting. I always thought it was like, hmm, okay. Anyways, I am looking for a, how do I search? How do I search here? Yeah. How do I search Mercedes? This is not what I want. Um, this is, this is not what I want. Like, I see this one, but like, expensive. <laughs> Price low to high. I'm really having a hard time navigating this uh, website. But let's have a look at one of the cars. I'm still not finding my A class. They might not even have an A class. Hey, that's about it. Okay, I'm an A class. I'm not even gonna waste time. But you can check on Ferro. You can also check EB Motors. Okay, and can I search? Please allow me to search. They have two branches in Santon and Clackstop. Uh, Clackstop is such a random place to have a showroom in. Hmm. Maybe the, the founders from there. But let's search. We want Mercedes Benz. No, I said Mercedes. Guavella Makia Pegasus badge. Oh, I forgot to say filter vehicles. There we go. A class, A200. C class, C class. Okay. Let's do this first A class. They're saying it's a hatchback, Mara Angbo Nigasi. Okay, looks good. There are the seats. Old dashboard though. Yeah, old dashboard. Okay, 2017, 65,000 kilometers. That's not a lot. That's about four years. Um, so yeah, so this car hasn't traveled much. Obviously, we know it's used. Fine, seller's comments. Full service history. Okay. Full leather. Extras. Okay, service history, unspecified. I'm so confused. They said full service history and information, and now they're saying unspecified. What is the truth? Aha. Interesting. 359,900. That. Oh. This is 7,461. Okay. I wonder which car we were looking at. We might be seeing the same car across multiple platforms the fact that i already had 359 900 on that calculator but anyways let's move on now i'm gonna go on facebook market guys because that's where people sometimes also buy cars i'm gonna go on my facebook obviously so it might be very specific to me okay and i don't want this filter i don't want this filter i'm willing to travel the world and let me say I'm in Johannesburg. Saying Johannesburg because we might find more range. There we go. Ha! 70,000 Rand. I, I could buy that now. Let's have a look. Ugh, why is it so long? <laughs> Listed 23 weeks ago. It's been on ya. Why? What else is this seller selling? Only this car. Tato, tato. Okay, let me stop joking. Obviously, when you're going to buy on Facebook, you really don't know what you're getting. You could be getting a great price. You could be getting junk because someone could be listing something that's in the yard. You could even be buying a car that is stolen or a car that does not belong to the seller. So you paid 70k and then someone comes and claims back their car with the cops and there's nothing you can do. You have to hand over the car because it is illegal to buy stolen goods. So just be very careful. This looks like a nice car. Okay, not leather, old dashboard, partial service history, cruise control, isn't that like kind of normal, AMG line, okay, I'll give you that, it's being sold by Bonking Kosi, negotiable, our way we can talk, hmm, okay, so this person does sell quite a lot, yay, 
about 56 mini cooper indicator stick hey is this person like a mechanic hmm interesting this could be stressful though because let's just see all of his listings because he could have fixed his car up himself um and then it might like break down three months later he sells phones sometimes he sold this he sold a mini cooper even okay the good news about this is that because they do sell a lot it means you know they probably definitely do have this in stock it's not like a a scam where they're trying to catch you but unfortunately we don't know like if people are happy with what they've bought we only have one review and the person commented on punctuality and this could be his friend so yeah that's that's facebook market definitely can find some gems here but very tricky and also i don't know how willing banks are to finance a fake cars now lastly let's look at repossessed cars for sale I'm going to try find a bank are we let's find let's look at west bank a class a let's just say mercedes then no image no image cape town cape town it's giving scam but anyways, could just be a general spelling error. Why are there no pictures? Okay, here's one with the picture. Oh, this is embarrassing. What do you mean this car was repossessed when you've gone and picked it up with Gucci? Now we all know your car's here. Tough times, tough times. Okay, let's just have a look at this one. Okay. Only one picture. Don't really know if this is a good car. 115,000 kilometers. This is how much they're selling it for. 383,690. 383,690. About 8,000. 7.9. Obviously, it's not an, an A class, so it's a bit hard to compare with this. Uh, auction is on the 1st of Feb. Hey, that's today. At 10.30. Hey, let's see if we can get into a bid. Have you ever completed a vehicle finance application at West Bank? Yes. <sighs> ah, I don't think I want to be actually like uh, auctioning with them. So no, let's let's not do that. Don't actually want to go into the auction. But yeah, okay. That's interesting. I just wish they wrote more details on like you know like the car because you don't know about the service history you're literally here to bid and the thing is it's starting at 400 watt watt so it seems affordable but when you get there someone really wants this car and next thing the car is being bid for a million and it's like bro you could have just bought a brand new car honestly so yeah that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the different places where you can buy a car um there's a lot of research and obviously there's some that you actually have to walk into the dealership and and like ask them out because not everything will be online. Good luck. Thank you so much for tuning in everyone. My name is Nogusha Kumalo and I have enjoyed giving this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please do tip me with a like. And to those who have subscribed, thank you so much for being part of this community. We're all here to teach one another and to grow. And if you do have any video suggestions, please do feel free to drop them in the comments. I am always reading the comments and I definitely do take inspiration from some of the things you guys say. So keep at it and I hope you guys have a great week further. Bye! If you enjoyed this video, please tip me with a like, comment and subscription.